Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have today is the Mazen Kaiser model kit from the Good Smile Company. Now, this kit is amazing. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say that outright. This kit, I mean, there's probably, there should be a new word invented for this kit. Um, the, the details are spectacular. Um, they, they have just so many cool little like details in this. Uh, posability is fantastic. This is possibly one of the best um, non-Bandai kits I've ever built. So um, I want to go ahead and I just want to jump right into this. So before I get into the articulation details and accessories, I uh, just want to back brief you on this kit and kind of like what I know about Mazen Kaiser. So this particular design is actually from a Super Robot Wars video game first. Uh, mainly designed so that way it can over overpower uh, more of the other robots in that video game. And then eventually it became an, uh, it was actually appearance in a OVA 7 episode 30 minute uh, each series, uh, which debuted I believe in 2000. Think September 2002. Um, never watched it. I, I never watched a Mazen Kaiser except for um, it was one with the the guns and I'm always oh S SKL. That was the only Mazen Kaiser I ever watched and I thought it was okay. Um, it didn't really like wow me. I just kind of like you know the design more than anything. Um, so for this, um, I just I love the design. Like I, I guess all Mazen Kaisers, I just really love their designs and I just haven't you know actually got in into the series yet so i i do want to watch this series i have it saved um in my queue list so eventually i'm going to go ahead and watch it uh but i did study up a little bit on this and exactly what the weapons are and the kind of gimmicks it has um so we're going to kind of go through all that and i won't try and sound as ignorant but um just letting y'all know i don't really have much experience with this series but i'm actually very very intrigued so what about the details? Well, if you look, there's just panel lines and little crevices and everything scattered all throughout this little kit. Um, I, I think this has so many golden opportunities for like detail painting, uh, panel lining, or anything else you wanna do. And that's, that's actually why I did not paint anything on here. Um, I pretty much kept this as plain as possible because I want to, I want to watch the series before I decide to go ahead and do anything to this thing. It's not really too often that I get such a detailed kit, uh, especially from Bandai, since their panel lines or just any kind of details is very minimum, and I'm not the kind of person that's gonna uh, really go over the top and try and like, you know, make my own little details. But this, in its default state, I think is such a good uh, opportunity to go ahead and just, you know, play around with it. You know, paint some different colors in certain areas, test out some different uh, type of panel lines. I'm probably gonna go with silver and gold uh, throughout all this black. And it's not just a very basic, you know, color scheme, just the black and gray. They also have all this nice little gold and red kind of scattered throughout it. Um, I especially love uh, some of the details that you can put into it, where like these little, like, I don't know what these would be called, like the little gear parts on the legs. Um, I would love to just paint that gold, honestly, because I think that's going to really, uh, you know, enhance the overall detail and aesthetics of this kit. So. The details and just panel lines is just phenomenal. So let's go ahead and get into the articulation. Okay, so we're looking at the head. Um, if you've seen the unboxing, you know that the face and these little gold parts right here are already pre-painted. Um, now the, the actual uh, build of the head, it does require you to use a little bit of glue or cement if you want. So that's really gonna be up to you to go ahead and utilize. I didn't because I just wanna see if I can actually put it all together without it. Um, you could definitely put it together, like just snap fit it, but uh, it will really um, benefit for having a little bit of glue uh, when it comes to putting the head together. Uh, but overall, when it comes to articulation, it can look down that far, look up, side to side, and it can definitely rotate back and forth because it's going to be on a little ball joint right there. All right, next, taking a look at the body. Uh, so this is probably like my favorite part of the entire kit. It's just how dynamic the body is. So right up here, you're going to have a little peg that's going to be connected to the upper part of the, uh, the chest, and it can definitely move back and forth like so. So you're going to have a pretty good range like that, and it can do a little bit of a side to side such as that. Now when it comes to the pelvis right here, uh, this part can also move by itself, so he can really, you know, bend back pretty far. Uh, not really too much forward, uh, and then just a little bit side to side. 
So the center chess piece uh, is actually really nice. It's um, you know has a silver sticker on this like you know black plastic part right underneath here, and then you're gonna go ahead and put this nice little red clear part over it, and you can kind of see like basically reflections inside on there and it really does enhance the overall aesthetics and looks you can, you can kind of see some lines on the inside of where the uh, the red is and i just think that looks really cool it's almost like veiny to be honest and then you're going to see like this little red jewel in the center um, and it's going to have a little z embedded into there now this gold right here is actually already pre-painted on the kit so you don't have to worry about painting that at all Okay, now looking at the arms, uh, the arms are extremely tight in some areas, so I'm going to try and be as careful as I can, uh, but right here is going to be a little ball joint, so it can just basically move around like that, and then right here, uh, like there's basically a little uh, connection point, so this is very, very tight, uh, but it can, it can go all the way around, it's not going to be a problem, uh, but just be really, really careful. Now this part of the arm can come up about that far so you're not going to get too much of a range because of the uh the shoulder part but it's not really too bad and then for the elbow joint you're actually going to have like two connections uh so you're going to have a connection uh, part right inside here and then one inside here and then this is going to be a peg right in the middle so for the peg part you can definitely move it all the way around and then it's going to be able to be uh, detachable so whenever you're doing the rocket uh, the rocket punch um, it can go ahead and detach now inside here this part by itself trying to keep this so just the gold part that goes like that like pretty much uh, 90 degrees so that's gonna be pretty good and then with this part it can do whoops it can go ahead and do uh, basically a 180 so with the legs is gonna be a lot of great posability uh, right up here in the uh, waist section you can basically bring it out that far and he can essentially do the splits now when you bring it out to the back uh, you're gonna have to just kind of adjust it to where um, he can kind of still bring it out that far, but you're not going to be able to do a straight out since this part right here is going to be blocked. Um, now this is essentially a little bit loose. It doesn't really have any kind of like pivots or anything. It just kind of like, I don't know, wiggles around. So there's not really much posability as in this little area right here. Um, now there's a little like swivel area right here in the upper leg. So it's not bad um it's just you know it's it's kind of is what it is and then for the knee part this isn't something that's like terrible uh it can basically go that much but you got to be careful you got to like hold all this because um i think some of these areas required glue and since i did not glue it uh because i was like probably going to take this apart a little bit and just start painting some stuff um it will kind of break apart if you're you know handling it too rough so i'm i'm, I'm really just i'm being careful with it i don't want to like rough house it and break stuff on camera uh, and then when it comes to the feet, uh, basically it's going to be all, on a ball joint right inside here. Uh, and this can basically um, rotate back and forth. It can go down that far and go up that far. Um, so overall, little ball joint, little swivels, and it is pretty good. Now when it comes to accessories, he is going to have some different hands. So the first set of hands is going to be these closed fists. These little open hands right here. And then these little open hands right here, so that way he can wield his sword, which is a good segue into his accessories. So the first weapon we're going to take a look at is going to be the Kaiser Blade, which is a very, very nice broadsword. And it also has a jewel right there in the center that has a Z embedded into it. So the Kaiser Sword is very, very beautiful. Um, it's a little bit difficult to hold in both hands, I must say. Uh, I've been like kind of going at it for a little bit and uh, just doing it with both hands can be hard just for the fact that the way the hands are constructed uh, as well as the way that the v-fin kind of like hinders both um arms like where the uh, the bicep areas uh folding in um just makes it to where it's really awkward to like really pose it so like this is kind of what i'm mentioning is it's just very very tight so um you know i definitely wish out the best of luck on uh doing this it's probably just my fault maybe i'm not getting it in the right pose uh but this is kind of like the best i can go ahead and do as of right now uh still doesn't look bad i mean i, I like the way it looks uh but this isn't going to be like my go-to style uh i'd rather have like something a little bit different but overall i think the sword looks pretty pretty badass and let's go ahead and move on to the last accessory so when it comes to the hand guards that actually are for uh, holding the sword, you're going to have two different ones for each hand. One's going to be more straight and then the other one is going to be a little bit tilted. So if you want to hold the sword at a more diagonal kind of angle, you're, gonna, you're pretty much going to have to use this one that is uh, basically tilted a little bit. 
And the last thing that's going to come with is going to be the backpack. Now, this isn't something that is natural to the Mazen Kaiser. This is like a pretty much like an adapter or a booster. So um, he he doesn't like sprout these wings from his back. This actually is kind of like a docking, like it docks into the backpack itself. Uh, but overall, you're gonna have stickers all inside here, which are just silver stickers. Uh, so that's kind of like how you're getting that little shine effect right there. Uh, that's all all stickers inside but it really does reflect all the little details from this like all these little details these little lines um that's actually from the red clear piece that's on here so i think that's pretty dope and you're gonna have like some little boosters right there which you know are gonna be uh, very nice when you're painting them up uh and there's a, like some some you know panel lining that you can do on here but not really too much uh now as far as kind of any kind of posability you're really just gonna have this on a little peg uh, so both these wings and these wings can kind of just move around a little bit or however you want to go ahead and pose them uh, Probably just I would say be careful because they are sharp especially like these uh, They're fairly sharp. Um, so I just say whenever you're building them uh, Definitely watch your fingers and the way you go ahead and attach it is just take off this little back piece right here And then these little two pegs is just gonna peg in right inside there like so and then also there is a little peg right there. So if you want to go ahead and plug any kind of stands that are compatible, uh, you can definitely go ahead and plug them right into this little hole. And there he is with his wings all nice and reflective. Uh, by far, this this kit's highlight is definitely those wings. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Um, overall, like the glossy black finish on this kit like all that black is just so super glossy and I don't want to dull that out. In fact, I want to go ahead and make it super, super glossy. Um, and, and just like all these little clear parts are fantastic. And it just has such a menacing design and look. Um, next, let me go ahead and give you some comparisons. And here he is next to the high grade double diver. So he's not really too much taller than a high grade. But then standing to the master grade 007 swords, um, yeah, he's now the one that's being dwarfed. Uh, not really, it's not a significant height difference, but there is a height difference nonetheless. And I was not expecting that. I was kind of expecting this kit to be probably master grade size, but I guess not. It's kind of just more in the in between. And honestly, I cannot recommend enough to put this on a stand. Uh, you, you're really going to be able to get more of the aerial type poses obviously um, but I think just with the backpack it's gonna be so back heavy it's gonna be really hard to pose it and when you do it's just gonna look really awkward so um, I highly recommend just go and get yourself uh, a stand if you don't already have one and then just pop that bad boy on the stand with the sword and the, the backpack it's just truly truly gonna look super awesome now one thing you can also replicate is the turbo smasher punch where it basically launches its fist directly at you. So if you have an extra stand kind of lying around, you can really go ahead and pull off some little dynamic stuff uh, such as that. And honestly, if any kit really tries to fight this guy, I don't think it's going to end up looking positive for them. They would honestly just get a chest beam blast straight to the face. And just because you specialize in hand-to-hand -hand combat doesn't mean you won't have the same fate as all the other enemies to the Mazen Kaiser. And even if you're in the air and you have bladed weapons, trust me, this is not going to save you. Because he is already prepared. So for my final thoughts, uh, this kit is really awesome. The only cons that I really have, um, if you really don't like glue certain spots on this, uh, it's really going to be hard to mess with because those parts are going to pretty much like either pop off or they're going to like disconnect. Um, so it's highly recommended you go ahead and use like cement or glue to go ahead and get some of those parts uh, tightened. Um, if not, then you're really just going to have a little bit uh, harder of a time. Uh, now, I, I definitely recommend you, you know, panel lining or detailing this kit as much as you can. Um, even though it, it looks perfectly fine, this is just an out-of-box build, it looks perfectly fine. But why not give it that extra love so that way it could be the definitive kit on your shelf. Um, and even though I have not seen any of the Mazen Kaiser series, I'm definitely going to go ahead and invest in watching them.
So with all that being said, I uh, don't really have much else. Um, overall, it's a great kit for about like 45 bucks. Uh, I honestly think it is worth your dollar, but if you're not too keen on the scale, uh, it may not be for you, but I think that price really does go into the overall engineering, uh, the, the just the overall design and, and details, uh, accessories. So hey, I think, I think the price is warranted. Uh, if you don't think so, then hey, maybe pass on this and wait for Bandai uh, to release their version. Uh, other than that, guys, that's all I have. Definitely thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, being a subscriber. Uh, thanks for supporting this channel. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye-bye.